with a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 1.9 seconds, a quarter mile time of 8.8 .8 seconds, and a top speed of over 250 miles per hour, the all-electric Tesla Roadster is the most anticipated car of the century for Tesla and EV enthusiasts. But today, we're not here to repeat all of the Tesla Roadster's rumored specifications that have already been said. We performed a deep dive into the specifications and story of the Tesla Roadster and uncovered some new and exciting facts you might not have known, including some modifications to the supercar no one ever saw coming. These new additions that went into the Tesla Roadster show us Tesla's vision for an EV supercar and provide a glimpse into the complex mind of Elon Musk. Today, we'll unveil the 10 new facts of the Tesla Roadster. Welcome to Tech Archives. Not a four-seater, but a two plus two. When Tesla unveiled the Roadster's prototype, it was shown to actually be a four-seater with back seats, something quite rare for supercars. The Tesla Roadster technically seats four. However, the back seats are too small for most adults, but can comfortably seat two children. Called a two plus two seat rather than a four-seater, it follows the seating arrangement also seen in other sports cars like the Porsche 911 and Audi TT Coupe. Musk admitted that the rear seats were small, but the company is promising practicality along with performance. Even if you don't use the rear seats, the cabin looks spacious. The back seats are apparently only available for the base version of the vehicle because Elon Musk said that Tesla also plans to offer a SpaceX package that would take up the space for the back seat. SpaceX thrusters. If there's anything we should know about Elon Musk is that nothing is too far from reality. He announced that there's a cool upgrade called the SpaceX package, which could help the car hover. This will include cold air thrusters powered by a system of air pumps and tanks, essentially making the Roadster a mix between a car and a rocket. Musk revealed the exciting details during a podcast with Joe Rogan, mentioning that one of the biggest hurdles his team must overcome is trying to figure out how to make this thing hover without killing people. Considering the strict regulations surrounding modern cars, it's unlikely such a feature would be legal in every market. But Musk went on to say, quote, at a minimum, I'm confident we could do a thruster where the license plate flips down James Bond style, and there would be a rocket thruster behind it that gives you three tons of thrust. This technology is taken from the COPV based on SpaceX tech used in the Falcon 9 rocket. With the optional SpaceX thrusters, the driver will pick up even more thrust and speed, topping the already astonishing 0 to 60 miles per hour of 1.9 seconds. The cost of the optional SpaceX thrusters isn't certain yet, but Musk has confirmed that Tesla will offer that option. Fully Autonomous Car When you think of Tesla, you think of the best technology ever. The Roadster will not disappoint in features and tech, though the weight may end up proving too much for car lovers the world over. The Roadster, however, may not need great driving skills from the driver, because it will come with Tesla's latest autonomous driving technology that has eight cameras for full 360-degree visibility that extends to a whopping 800 feet. With a forward-facing radar and 12 ultrasonic sensors, it may just be the safest car ever. Convertible You can turn the Tesla Roadster into a convertible because it will come with a removable glass roof that can easily be stowed in the trunk in a special compartment or storage space. How cool is that? On a hot summer day, a glass roof can put a serious dent on the aircon, especially in an EV. So it's best to remove it and let the wind ruffle your hair. Also, while the Roadster does not need side-viewed mirrors because of all those cameras, it will still have them due to regulations. Only they will be removable and magnetic to add to the aerodynamics of the car. Yoke Steering Wheel In its Q4 2020 earnings report and during the earnings call, Tesla unveiled the updated Model S and Model X. In addition to a number of fundamental improvements and additions, the company has changed the steering wheel, which now looks like one you would find in a supercar. While the comfort of this shaped steering wheel may seem questionable, the reality is that this is not the case with Tesla vehicles. Yoke steering provides, quote, the ultimate focus on driving. No stalks, no shifting. With a stockless steering yoke, you can enjoy both the best car to drive and the best car to be driven in, Tesla wrote in the description for the updated models. The most basic message is that the company is confident that it will soon be able to reach level 5 autonomy, and a large round steering wheel will be completely out of place in the car of the future. The Tesla Roadster will also have the new yoke steering wheel, helping it stand out with its supercar competitors. Range of 620 miles Your eyes may have been forced back into the depths of your skull with the acceleration, but they'll be crying tears of joy 
when you look at the battery gauge. Tesla isn't just suggesting the new Roadster will match the Model S and Model X on range. It promises it'll beat them comprehensively. Tesla has to surpass what it originally planned for the Roadster, and now, with the 200 kilowatt hour battery, the Roadster is likely to have a whopping, unheard of range of 620 miles. While this is not a round trip to the moon, it does make for a round trip to another city or state on a single charge. However, this is still a claim considering the car is yet to be released, and till now, not even the best of EVs has not been able to surpass the 350 mile range. Three electric motors. As of the latest news in the market, the Tesla Roadster will have three electric motors as part of a Plaid tri-motor drivetrain. One motor in the front and two motors at the back that will synchronize for an all-wheel drive. These three motors will also have double the range of ones put in the Model S, and so also allow for torque vectoring, allowing for improved performance, grip, handling, and stability. The bigger back wheels, as opposed to the smaller front wheels, also add in further stability, and the Roadster is already sounding like an utter dream. All-wheel drive is standard. Most supercars have all-wheel drive, for example, Lamborghini is one of the automakers that ensures most of its models have all-wheel drive. Since Tesla competes with the likes of Lamborghini and Ferrari, it's only fitting that Musk would ensure the new 2022 Roadster would have all-wheel drive as well. Costs How much would you pay for a car that only needs 1.9 seconds to reach 0-60 to 60 miles per hour? If you went for a top-of-the-range Ferrari or Lamborghini, you would pay in excess of $300,000 and still struggle to find one that's fast. The Roadster's price tag might be high for most people, but it's affordable when measured in context. The base car will be $200,000, the company has confirmed, with a $50,000 reservation fee if you want to stake your place in the line. However, those who want one of the very first Roadsters have an option to jump line. That's the Tesla Roadster Founder Series, just one of a thousand cars that will be the first to roll out of production. You'll not only need to cough up $250,000 to secure one, Tesla actually wants that money today in full. You can make a $5,000 payment today online, but you'll have to follow it up with a bank transfer for the remaining balance. Six figures for a car is undoubtedly expensive. However, if Tesla can actually deliver on its promise with the Roadster, it's actually surprisingly competitive. The McLaren 720S, for example, starts at just under $300,000 and does zero to 60 miles per hour in about 2.8 seconds. A Bugatti Chiron is a hefty $3 million with a 2.3 second 0 to 60 time and 261 miles per hour top speed. Production delays. Problem is, while you can go down to the McLaren dealership and buy a 720S today, your reservation for a new Tesla Roadster comes with a side order of forced patience. Deliveries of the new car aren't expected to begin until 2022. And it's worth remembering, Tesla doesn't exactly have the best track record for hitting its production goals. Why open the order books now then? It's hard to ignore the fact that if all 1000 Roadster Founder Series cars are snapped up, and we'd expect that to be the case in relatively short order, that's a nice $250 million lump sum in Tesla's bank account. Welcome indeed when the company is burning through cash trying to get its Model 3 and Gigafactory production lines running as they should be. Every $50,000 base Roadster reservation only sweetens that and helps Tesla avoid raising more cash in the traditional way. How comfortable you are with the idea probably taps into how comfortable you are in general with how Tesla operates. Elon Musk suggested in the past that high-ticket cars like the Model S and Model X have helped subsidize the way for more affordable options like the Model 3. Though in reality, it's taken a whole lot of reservations for the cheaper, smaller cars to get it to the point of production, and it still needs more. Big ambitions take deep wallets, and it's somewhat fitting that, like the original Roadster paved the way for the first Model S, it's this new Roadster that will help foot the bill for Tesla's current expansion for more Model 3s and Ys, and possibly an upcoming $25,000 Model 2. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more news on Tesla.